Well, folks, here we are again at another Holiday in IHG property, Holiday Inn Express. And this is the thermostat that I cannot get under 67. I am a very cool sleeper, so I need a little cooler than that. This one, there's a good video on YouTube of how to override it, but you need a screwdriver. Actually, just one right there at the top, which I don't happen to have with me today. So I wanted to do a second video here uh, on the GE Zone line. So if, you're, if you luck out and you happen to have this thermostat, that you can't get into, uh, and you have a GE PTAC over here, a zone line, there is a way that you can disconnect this thing, and usually it works. Now, don't get mad at me if you get yelled at by the hotel or something like that, but uh, sometimes they can tell if you've been messing with things. But this is an, there's an easy way to override this PTAC so that basically you can control it all from the dash panel and not from the wall thermostat. So that Verdant thermostat over on the wall won't even be an issue because I'll just do everything on the panel. So I figured I'd add that to my GE Zone Line videos just because it's a good trick to know how to do. So the first thing you have to do is either turn it off, turn off the, the air conditioning or heat or whatever you've got going on at the wall thermostat first. I've already got it set up to control from here so you won't see that. But if, so I'm gonna just shut this off real quick. So just go to off, wait for it to shut off. So like I said, if you're still hooked up to the wall thermostat, you would just do that part on the wall thermostat and then come over here, go underneath and push the aux button, just like we did for the, it's that big red button down there if you didn't see me do that, just like we did for the temperature cool limiting uh, adjustment. So I already have done that. So you just, you get to AU, you want, you want to see that. Then go, there's several settings here. They're all usually on the bottom of the GE down here with what, what it's doing. So I'm just going to five first to show you. I've already changed, the, by hitting mode, I got to five. I've already changed the temperature cool limit to zero, which means I can get this down to 60 now. Now you wanna be careful if you're at a hotel like um, in the Southwest or something like that, because if you put it too cold, you could freeze up their compressor and cause damage to the hotel. So you wanna be a little bit wise in how you do this or turn the fan on during the day or turn the unit off completely during the day, stuff like that. You want to protect the AC unit. Uh, sometimes I'll even set it back to how it was when I leave the room, just so that the next guest can't fry their compressor for them. So just, just be advised of that. If you turn it real low and it's like 100 degrees outside, you could cause a lot of damage to the AC unit. Um, so anyway, so this you can set the, you know, the temperature cool. That would be, I think, about 64 degrees is the bottom, something like that. It says it right there. Again, yep, uh, 66 degrees is the cool for the number two. So anyway, I turned it to 60 just because overnight I'll turn it down a little lower probably. I don't even know if I'll go that low, but that way I have the option to do it. So to disconnect the Verdant wall thermostat, you have to hit mode again and again. Now, if the thermostat was connected like it was just a few minutes ago before I worked on this, it would say six with, with what I call N. It's like an upside down U at the top there. And that basically says the, the GE zone line, I'm being controlled by the wall unit. So all you have to do is hit the zero, the minus button, and put it to six U. That's it. That makes this unit independent. Um, there are some ways I think the hotels can get around that, but uh, generally this does work. Um, so now you have total control on this unit. The only thing you have, other thing you have to do is just go back down and hit aux to save it, and then the unit shuts off. Then you hit mode and go back to heating or cooling, whatever you're gonna do. And then I got it set at 60. And that's it. So now you now I just have to remember to come over here and do everything, but it eliminates the temperature sensor on the Verdant, which is nice to not have to deal with. And it basically, this thing <clears throat> says off, and I don't even need to mess with it anymore the whole time I'm here, because the unit's running over here and I can control everything. So that's how you do that, and if you have any more questions, feel free to keep watching my other videos. Some of them have useful information in them as well, but I just want to include this as another hack for the GE Zone line because uh, you need a way to get around that those Verdant thermostats sometimes if you happen to forget a screwdriver. I always recommend carrying a screwdriver with you, a small one, um, because most of these you can pry off, and there's a, like I said, there's a great other tutorial on YouTube of how to just override it from, from this thing. You can turn the motion sensor off, everything but the buttons are underneath the panel here and you need to get to the circuit board so like i said if you're in that situation google it there is another youtube video the guy does a good job of describing how to do that thanks everybody and have and enjoy your cool nights